Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel today. More of The Sopranos, Season 2, Episode 3, entitled Toodle Fucking Ooh. There's cats running around back there. So, thoughts on the last episode? They'll be on the back half of there. Um, I had, I don't want to say beef, but a confliction. The, the scene last episode where Olivia and Janice were talking to each other and then there was the flash of Olivia's face on the stick character falling down the steps. Cats. Cats down there. It it showed... I thought it was Janice imagining it because it was, the stick figure was behind Olivia on the wall, but then a comment had said that it was like Olivia fearing or wondering if Janice would do that to her. But the fire escape sign was behind Olivia, so I don't know why... It just seemed like a weird context clue to shoot to something out of the character's point of view to uh, suggest what they're feeling. These cats, its it's been like four or five days in the room here because we're trying to get them acclimated to the parrot that we have. The parrot has been across eight different cats in its life. So the bird understands cats. We just need the cats to understand the bird. So in the meantime, they are in here, and I apologize for that. If they make a cameo, so be it. If they climb up the green screen, I've tried to stop them. They've already gone to the litter box. I fed them. They're running around right now. Once they crash out for a nap, that's when I'm actually going to record the reaction. Because, uh... I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but it's chaos back there. But yeah, we're finally here. After we're done with this episode, the people who have just been waiting for it, they can finally... <laughs> Anyways, we're here. This episode has been hyped up a little bit over the course of time, and, uh... I'm hoping that it it delivers and that my reaction, you know, nothing here is forced. I just ramble. I just, you know, smirk, whatever's going on. I don't like to blow shit out of proportion and exaggerate. We are reacting. We are not acting. We are not pretending. We are just experiencing. Right? There was another comment that said, what, what could have happened to little Janice? Well, the, the sisters both got out of there. We just, That was established in a prior episode. I don't want to, if they're taking out the green stream, <laughs> I don't want to slander Tony's dad or anything, but we finally got a break from Olivia hyping him, hyping him up, you know, the last episode he was like, you don't know what he was like, or so there, there may be some aspect there that uh, is similar to the soccer coach with the player, let's just say that. You want to say hi little boy? No? You're just here? He a boy. And she a girl. You say hello? This one is obsessed with the screen. I've learned not to play video games because the mouse cursor is uh, just crack for them. <laughs> Alright, I think the cats are starting to settle down. Let's hope so. And I'll see you real soon in the episode. So here we go. Season 2, Episode 3. Toodle fucking you. Here we go. Okay, everything is recording. It has been quiet for three minutes. As soon as I hit record, the scratch pad gets scratched and the kibble gets kibbled. So, they know. They know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Uh, am I ready? Dead end. Hey, no speedy. This is a party zone. <laughs> what? Hi, Mr. Soprano. Yeah, Where's your season one. I give up. In the house? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, Billy, thanks for calling. Sure, as soon as I found out it was your mom's place. Oh? Oh? Oh. Oh, D. Oh. Friend says special K in ecstasy. Meadow, you done fucked up. I didn't see Anthony Jr., did I? Was that him? In no. In your grandmother's house. Wasn't my fault. I had a quarter for every time I heard that. Since you learned to talk, I'd have a private jet on 24 hours standby. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> Puke into a cardboard container. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> Just lucky I knew that cop, so he cut me a favor. Let me guess, he owes you money? <laughs> this bitch pretty pretty, pretty bold. <laughs> I say this bitch, not me saying this bitch, but like he has to be thinking like, I cannot believe her. Meadow, we can talk about it in the morning. Get down here. Let her go to bed. Let her go to bed. I want her to answer for herself. She's drunk. 
Was she driving like this? I could have taken ecstasy, but I didn't. Don't puke on the floor. I'm I'm laughing at that like attempted silver lining. So what did she have to say for herself? The usual shit. It wasn't my fault. There was designer drugs there, Tony. They got speed the one time. I wonder if they went to the same people to get something. No, no, because it was Christopher that got on the speed. You sure you're gonna be all right, Uncle Rich? Uncle Rich. I'm gonna walk. See if I run into any of the old crowd. He's on the thumbnail of the episode. This guy also looks like Rico from Judge Dredd. <laughs> Motherfucker. There has to be consequences. What kind of parents would we be if we let her get away with this? Typical. There's plenty of parents still crack the whip. I cannot wait until she goes off to college. Oh, yeah, great. No, she can do all that without you being there to catch her. You take away her car, you become her chauffeur. You ground her, you gotta stay home weekends and be prison guards. And if you throw her out, the social services will bring her back and we'd be in front of the judge. She's not 18 yet. That's your solution, to throw your daughter out? There has to be consequences. And there will be. I hear you. Jesus, mother of Christ. Rich, so when'd you get out? How come nobody told me? He, I don't think that dude actually looked happy to see him. Hey, honest to fucking God, nobody said a word. Just shut the fuck up. I did a lot of meditation in the can on this. On what? I can't believe how clear you see things. Are you crazy? Not as crazy as I used to be. Still crazy enough to take an eye out. What's going on here, Rich? Ten years. And not even a pleasant go fuck yourself from you, I guess. How could you let my dear friend sit here with an empty cup of coffee? I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Take it easy, kid. Bring this gentleman a nice veal palm sandwich. Were they in business together? Did someone screw someone over? Were they enemies? There's so much here. Backstabbing. Hey, look, Rich, I know you're a made guy, so I lose either way. But I always respect you. Intense stare, non blinking. No, and then he blinks. Go away for a while, I come back. You're a tough guy. Don't do this. Don't do what? Take what's owed to me. What's owed to you? I put you in action, Beansy. Feel Parmesan sandwich. Fuck you. I'm being shaken down for what? What did I do? Tell me, what did I do? This is not right. About to be I'm hit with the fucking, it's in the foreground. I'll you, step up. You're getting smashed with it. I would bet a finger. I get to keep him. <laughs> you down, huh? You down. You piece of shit. Beat the shit out of the manager in the store in front of everyone. Where is the bride of Frankenstein? She's still sleeping. You're right. Go wake up. Oh, this episode is up? great. Yeah. <laughs> Already. I want to get this shit out of the way before I go out. Let her sleep. You guys are making too much of this. Oh, no, I don't think we're making enough. She was drunk. Her choice. For every 20 wrongs a child does, ignore 19. There's an old Italian saying, you fuck up once, you lose two teeth. See? That's what all this is about. Ego and control. I beg your pardon? No, please, please, don't, don't try to make sense with yeah. me. <laughs> no, I want to understand this. Go, go ahead, tell me. Because she's exercised her independence, you want to penalize her because you don't agree with her choices. You wasted grandmother's house. It's trashed. You want to get drunk or do whatever, fine, but you fucking wrecked someplace. That should be important to you. You better have some answers, young lady. Yeah, that's right. What, what's it, Cheerios? Right, fine. That's fine. not hangover fine. material. And then Steve shows up with his asshole for an Adam and a bunch of people from Booton. Oh, so Steve's just walking around trying doorknobs till he hits the jackpot. <laughs> no, Hunter goes and tells him. Oh, now with the Hunter. We're under a lot of pressure, okay? You try studying day and night to get into college. Yeah, Meadow's We're voice is piercing right, right now. It's not just a volume level, it's like a sharpness sharp Sorry, not blunt pressure, sharp Otto. and i think you should take away my discover card you better believe it that's right for two weeks three carmel go harder go four fucking go hard so you can have the good cop bad cop you can team up on her <laughs> but you get ten dollars a week cash no more you get your card back for gas ten dollars in 2002 or three that's all right. That's a lot of gas, actually. Oh, oh, oh. 
Come here. Are we doing foreshadowing? I don't I don't like when when shit like that happens. Are you delayed yet? Oh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Meet Richie up for you. Jesus Christ, how you doing? I gotta tell you, your brother Jackie was like a fucking god. Oh, okay, Jackie's you know, brother. It's clicking. That's you. why they call him uncle. Out of respect for our friend here, I'm gonna talk nice. I ever hear you raise your hands to my niece again. Next time you won't see my face. You understand? Who told you I put my hand Oh, right! In the car. He's Just uncle. With me. Uncle. Thanks, uncle. If you want to raise your hands, you give her your last name. And it's none of my fucking business. Until <coughs> then, marry her, and then I don't keep care. Your hands in your pockets. We understand each other. Give him a yes, sir. Don't just nod at the man. Yeah, I don't remember when, but he did smack her. Was it was it in the music episode? This is the thing. I want to get my shy business back on its feet. I keep getting these calls from my brother Jack's Jill. customers. Where the fuck are you going? I'll talk to you later, Richie. <laughs> when we're talking business with the skipper directly. Are you fucking with me? You can talk to him. But not now. And never. Here. Only in the back room. Yeah, you're fresh out, you know. Can you believe we drank a whole bottle of wine between the three of us? Thank no. God. All right, we're establishing poor behavior. <laughs> or, uh, choices. Decision making. Wow, I, I landed, but it took me a while. <laughs> then he smacked Beasy with the coffee pot, broke his cheekbone. Frick. I talked to him yesterday. No sweetness and lights. This big brother shit's getting old. <laughs> Yo, bright eyes. They're in the same place. The Where you going? Melfi? Oh, hey, have you been? D du Can't complain. Why are you acknowledging him? You look good. They know he saw his shrink, but why are your friends going? It's my first time here. The veal is excellent. What are we making small talk now? Nice to see you. Shut the. Yeah, you too. She's. It's professional as she is. I guess she's a little loosey now with all the drinking. <laughs> Toodaloo. Bye bye. Toodaloo. Not a badass. Episode title. A nice pipe. Toodle of fucking ooh. You give him one of those. Hey, what do I give a fuck? How do you know her? What the fuck do I know? A long time ago. Oh, she was good. Uh, I wanted to tell you. Yeah, you gotta throw him a bone. Just, just break the tension and just. Move along, move along, guys. Let's... Why the fuck are you busting my balls? It was a long time ago. Hey, I remember every blowjob I ever got. <laughs> How about you? It might be your first blowjob. Uh, yeah, of course. I you mean, for the guy to come. I mean. <laughs> Toodle fucking ooh. What the fuck was that? What was so wrong with Toodle It's an accepted form of goodbye. That's not the way I talk with patients. It was Jennifer. For whatever reason, at that moment, you felt safer showing him Jennifer, not Doctor. It's, it's funny to me that as a shrink, she can't think her way out of this debacle. You you She's someone who does what she does and is working her through it, and she knows the steps, it but... Just I, a matter of, because he's someone you didn't want to see professionally, you abandoned the Doctor facade and adopted the Jennifer posture. Hence, toodaloo. Okay, you're almost there, Elliot, but not quite. <laughs> he asked me for help. Look... I need you as a colleague to tell me that I did the right thing. I had another patient who committed suicide because I was treating this man because I had to go on the lam. Treating patients from a motel room may not have been optimum, but you were still there for her. You were in phone contact. Would have been the same if you'd been on vacation. Did you say lam? Yeah, yeah on the lam? What does that phrase mean? Google, help. Comments help. Coming back down into Cobra. The only thing that happens in those classes is people are farting all over the place. And relaxing into child's pose. <laughs> no, I thought that was you. Parvati. Huh? I changed my name to Parvati in 78. So, how long you been? Out of jail. One week. That's why I picked up this yoga shit. No, it's working for you. You seem very supple. I do a lot of stretching. I don't talk business with anybody. Don't take it personal. Guy in my position is a government target. What do you think we're meeting in a fucking mall? You know I love you. You're like my big brother, okay? You're gonna be taken care of. What was yours before you went away will be yours again. You just gotta give it some time. 
Jeez, man, to me. You can't do that for me. And fuck you. What's mine is not yours to give me. Hey, Prick, you reached out to me. I said what I wanted to say. Things are different now. Gotta be extra, extra careful. When do you know me not to be careful? Uh. How about you been out of the can 10 fucking minutes already trying to shake down Beansy for a piece of his pizza joints? You taking the sign of a civilian over me? Jesus fucking Christ, Richie, I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't, go fuck yourself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How's your sister? Hey, there's no need for that kind of talk. What? My sister. Janice, how's she doing? Thought you were baiting me. No. Yeah, veiled threat or... How's your sister? Fuck your mother. Yeah. <laughs> mm, he's actually working on her. I... I don't know. How much? I honestly couldn't tell. There were so many numbers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what was that about? She was just expressing herself and... The place is a mess. Go clean it up. Have you seen what she did? Who? Oh. Meadow. <laughs> that house is fucked. I thought you didn't swear. What are you talking about? I'm outraged. No, I am beyond outraged. Hit her with a, well, your temper should just be an expression of your lack of empathy, of understanding. Don't worry about it. She's been punished. Oh, three weeks without a credit card. Oh, my God. That, that's some heavy shit there. Huh. Janice. You know, if that was my child... You know what? Fuck this. You got a lot of fucking balls, you know that? No, let's clear the air here. You come right into town like some Vishnu come lately trying to play the concerned daughter. Who the fuck are you kidding? You're just here to pick the friggin' bones. There's a lot I could say right now that I am not gonna say. A lot of balls. How we discipline our children is none of anybody's business. You let that girl ride roughshod over you, someday you're gonna regret this it. This isn't last oh word, God, Janice. Janice. Shut the fuck up. Are all of you Sopranos the same? I asked you nicely to stay out of it. You're pretending you don't hear me. Well, maybe you're gonna hear this. Mind your fucking business. Keep your mouth shut when it comes to my kids. All right? Maybe I've stayed there too long. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm going back upstairs. Fucking bum hip. But next there's a man upstairs having a store for me. It gets Lucky worse, spring, always. Not broken. The thing is, Doc, I've been feeling these, like... Little fibrillations. Psychosomatic. Hey, there's my boy. I was afraid you didn't get the message. These two. He's a good kid. Let's me use it. Doctor patient privilege to meet people here. Weird blocking right now. I don't like him just in the corner in the shadows, out of focus. I gotta meet Tony at a mall, you here. What the fuck is happening? Like the man said, may you live in interesting times. What are you gonna do? Whatever you tell me. You and your brother were always good boys. If you tell me this is the way it is, then so be it. If you tell me otherwise, I'm yours, Junior. Whatever, whoever. Oh, we don't get Junior's answer? Fuck you, man. And now, for all you youngsters with visions of tit-fucking in your heads, here are the Bing Girls. Come on! Yeah, this might be the best episode so far. I know why you were looking forward to it. Welcome home, Richard. Is Beezy here? I haven't seen him. Go with Silvio. Who? Go! I'll hold this. You got a surprise for him? He said he's been trying to get laid. I'm sure you got something lined up. He's got a real fucking attitude problem. Careful. Come on. He just did 10 fucking years. He's got a right to be a little fucked up. <laughs> no? But you'll be all right. Yeah, we see what's happening here. I see you like the dark. Yeah, something like that. His best 15 seconds post jail. Why does this feel like an outro? We're only halfway through the episode. 
You know, you got a raging heart on for me, and I don't even know what for. No, huh? No. Come here. Come here. No. Come here. Come here. How come you weren't at the party? Hey, I moved a lot of hates for you and your brother, and you guys made the lion's share. You're just bitter because I invested my money smart, and you spent yours however the fuck you did. Hey, come on. Please, no guns. Come on. Please? What happens if I'm no greaseball store owner, huh? Tell me again how you want to lay down, huh? He got a shot off, though. Did he Did he hit him, or did he just scare him? Janice? I'm sorry, is the music too loud? Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Um, Remember the part about you I were... I just wanted to apologize. Gig... No, no. You know, about earlier. No. 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 I should be apologizing to you. I'm sorry, Carmen. Can we not talk about him? Look, I just mm. want you to know that I was way out of line. Well, I'm sorry too. Really, I just I feel terrible. See, guys wouldn't do this. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why things are a little fucked up. I don't think Tony wants me here. So, well, where are you gonna go? The house is in no condition to move into, especially now. Go clean it. Go clean it. Get the smelliest shit up. This is okay. All right. Good night. Good night. Oh, um, maybe maybe just a little bit music. A little bit. A little bit. Carmella's gonna drop it right here. No. Nope. Huh. Beep beep. Beep 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 beep. Bro, I could I I could do a vertical to save my life with adrenaline. I sit there and get hit. Scrub is the guy who thinks he's fly. <laughs> Only one future in the band, I think. TLC years down the road, or was it Destiny's Child? I'm ignorant as fuck. So your grandmother's house got used for a party. Excuse me, would they prefer we go to Limelight? Hello? He took away my Discover card for three weeks. Oh, that's nothing. I know, it was my idea. Stiff. <laughs> so hypocritical, too. Oh, she set the bar low two weeks so that they'd kick it up to three. Oh, shit. What is this? Man, I was having such a good time with this episode, and and it's because we haven't seen her. Hell yeah! Everything is great, lady. What are you doing? Who are you? Richie. Richie April. But I thought you were Jack. No, and that was uh. Jackie. That was my brother Jackie. How did he die, the poor baby? He had uh. Cancer. Me too. Oh, oh shit, that kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh. You know. So, uh, isn't Pavati supposed to be here? Or? I don't know who that is. Your daughter, Pavati. Janice. Oh, now, please, don't start with that name business. She did it to, to shame me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about her, isn't it? Richie. Pavati. You see the beautiful flowers he brought me? Ma, he's not one of Dad's friends. He's my friend. <laughs> he's your boyfriend? Don't you remember me? He used to yell at me for uh, beeping my car horn when I came over to pick up Janice. Pimp's beep. Well, you lay the same trip on everybody who comes in here. But don't you have any shame? Believe me, you don't want to hear what I'm ashamed of. Go ahead, Ma. Shoot your best shot. Never you mind. Just remember what we talked about last week. What we talked about last week being the house back? and the home and yes. the DNR. I don't know, the whole thing about Should putting elders on the igloo and just pushing Does them out to sea. I just, I don't, gonna take it's beautiful, us. right? <laughs> Too busy for dinner? You and I weren't good for each other 20 years ago. What makes you think it's going to be any different now? Let's get to the point. You know, I, I don't think I'd be interested in the same Jan I knew. So what, you've grown? I mean, do you ever think you see Richie April doing a downward-facing dog? <laughs> He's in. He's in. He cracked her. Put any more book shit in? He's in. That party wasn't my fault. How many fucking times do I oh. have to say it? Hey! Oh! She blew out her microphone a little bit. The levels. I need $15. Excuse me? 
A Cole Porter CD. It's from Madrigals. We're doing three of his songs. He took my card, remember? Fucking Anthony Jr. looking older and older every episode. If you want to leave, then you're going to have to tell her, because I'm not. It's not Christian. Oh, see? The shit works out. She's a Buddhist. Hello? Oh, Tony. <laughs> Thought it was cruel to pick flowers. Richie brought them to Ma. They're beautiful. Aren't they? Richie. Richie April. Yeah, he went to visit her. You know, he always loved Ma. Is he having an episode, or... I don't think he's falling asleep at the wheel. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? No seatbelt. Right? No, this... No, this is some weird fantasy thing. Melfi pulling up at the... No. What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? like that. I love fever dreams and fucking crazy you know what the fuck realities and that was so brief and so sharp and it was her fucking dream. Her nightmare if you will. Keeping a dream log. Okay. Oh uh, Jesus Christ. He didn't die. You're scaring your mother. The guy he fucking ran over and then backed over it, like hit him, and then was that nurse eyeballing him because of shit he did around his mother at that hospital? He said I might not walk. Come on, Ma. Let's go downstairs for a little while. Come on. You gonna let that animal get away with this? Mm. The haircut. It, I was trying to think of. It reminded me of the lady from Edward Scissorhands. I can't let anyone see me helping you because I'll uh, they'll think I'm a bitch and they'll think you're a bitch and uh, I might not be able to wipe my own ass, you know that. And the nose is as far as I'm willing to go. No. It hurts to laugh. Right. <laughs> Means you a thousand percent sure it was Richie April driving that car? A thousand percent? No, a fucking million percent. Let me tell you something, Tony. He's lucky I ain't no rap fuck. We're old school, right? We wash our own dirty laundry. So you're here to see your ma? Hey, I hear she's upstairs. No, I came here to see you, you prick. That's okay. Go do what you gotta do. Thought I told you to back the fuck off Beansy. I did. Then I put it in dry. Yeah. Oh, you think this is funny? That guy might never walk again. And for what? Because he didn't dope you enough? Because he didn't visit you in the can? When's the last time you gave a fuck about anybody but Richie April? Well, here's a rule you might remember. I'm the motherfucking fucking one who calls the shots. And you better pay me the respect that I gave your brother or we're going to have a problem. A bad one. Pay me the respects that I gave your brother when he was the boss. All right, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the final warning. If he does something else, it's fucking on. There is there is no going back on that. Hey, how you doing? Good. I'll open it up and you change all the locks. Okay. Oh, is that... Yeah. <coughs> It, it's chemicals, girl. What do you think? <laughs> and vomit. And the, poor thing. It's just, she looks like she's never had to do any sort of physical cleaning her whole life. <laughs> what? Whoa! Short episode. Fuck me. Less than 50 minutes. I mean, don't, don't fuck me, but yes, less than 50 minutes. Okay. Do the outro. Season 2, episode 3. Toodle fucking ooh. <laughs> Uh, Richie Aprili is out of the can after 10 years and looking for action. Tony busts Meadow for partying in Livia's old house. Okay. Oh, 100% confirm. Great episode. Uh, easily 
of the season so far the best, and I would put it up against a couple of my favorite episodes of season one. So definitely up there. This Richie guy, it's it's interesting, but I don't know. Like what's like him being out and, and causing problems, or you know, wanting his respect or his shit back or his due, and doing whatever he wants. Him being Richie. It's either going to work out for him or it's not, but it's it's like Jackie's dead. Does he does he have any connection still? Like like I don't see like I'm trying to figure out his role in the greater season, you know? Like like is he like a Lalo introduction, but then Lalo Salamanca was a part of the family, but this guy seems very like, you know, for himself. So he's not he's chaos, but he's maybe he's just a you know, neutral agent. <sighs> Janice, all of her scenes, whether it was Tony fucking laying down the law or, or Carmella stepping up, uh, all, all of her scenes were great. All of her scenes with Richie were good. Um, even though I did poke fun at the Carmella and uh, Janice makeup, you know, I, I, I kind of poked fun at that. But it it is the right thing to do. You shouldn't just set a stature and like that that's it for the eternity now until the other person comes in i just I, I it's a it's a level of stubbornness that i guess they don't have the nightmare sequence melfi's nightmare of of losing tony or him needing a prescription or you know or the prescription is the problem and then and then she was there and then she woke up that was wild i don't know how else to describe it I know in the moment I was very, you know, shocked and expressed my love for Fever Dreams and whatnot. And, and this show did it before in season one. There was like Christopher at the butcher shop and a whole bunch of weird shit was tripping out, right? I mean, Meadow has been playing Tony and Carmella for so long. I, I say playing, but you know, kind of outmaneuvering, outsmarting, setting the punishment, whatnot for so long it feels like that her, uh oh, one of the cats is awake that her cleaning up the house almost to me feels like a ploy like she knew he was going to be over there so she got there 10 minutes earlier suited up and just was just playing the part just to look like like those people who will go and like take pictures of themselves picking up litter to post on whatever and then they just leave the trash bag and, and leave <laughs> what like she just wants the appearance of you know, I don't. I don't think that's the case, though. I, I think Meadow is genuinely regretful about this, and I don't know if she had. That's what she. I bet that's what she needed the extra money for. It wasn't for the CD. It was for um. Yeah, she said she was gonna get it for a CD for somebody, right? But it looked like all those cleaning supplies is probably what she got. Yeah, this episode too. It kind of. It kind of stayed tight on the storylines like I feel like there wasn't a lot of introductions or a lot of cameos I feel like it was like Melfi, Janice, Richie, Melfi, Tony like I, I, I met it like I don't know why I just feel like the flow it wasn't the pacing pacing is pretty good but the flow of it it just I don't know it, it I didn't realize this was a shorter episode I guess they're all I say shorter episode they're all 50 fucking minutes <laughs> way to go me the cats just ran over, rubbed up against, against my leg, and then just ran off. So they're, they want they want something, and I better get to it. So I'm looking forward to the next episode. Shit, maybe I should watch the next one. No, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.